came downstairs to make myself some baked oatmeal. It's my new obsession, to be honest, because I do it every single day now. It just takes like five minutes to prepare and to um, clean, and then you just put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Then you take it out and you can eat it straight away. So I just think it's very, very easy. So here it is, after 15 minutes, it is still um, a bit soft outside and I like to do two portions at the same time because I just think that I can eat two at once to be honest, I mean the Aragon's one as well. So um, I'll show you what I'm going to do now and then I'll eat them and I think they should be great. What I like to do is to put some of the cream, like next to it. I think I'll maybe chop up a strawberry or two and just put them next to each other. And this is what it looks like just now. I hope it will be tasty. Good morning everyone. It's Monday morning and this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. So I have a little bit of porridge. It's only three or four um, tablespoons with a bit of a banana, kiwi and strawberry, cinnamon and a bit of honey. And then I have here some of the other bits of the fruits I haven't used up here. Then I also have a tea. This is how my Tuesday morning breakfast looks like. I don't really manage to film anything. <laughs> I don't even know what. But um, I'm supposed to study. And somehow I just can't start. It's half past ten. So, looks like I'm kind of studying, but I'm not. Today I went to college and I had my um, Spanish practice speaking exam and it went pretty well so um, my exam is on Monday because you could either do it on Monday or Wednesday but I'll be away on Wednesday so I have to do it on Monday already in exactly a week and this time I'll be in Vienna. This is, I can't believe. Um, and as I said I'm really happy to see my family once again. And I'm really excited, but then again, I'm a bit worried now about the flight because of what happened yesterday, like the German wings plane that crashed in the Alps. I'm a bit worried because that is not a nice thing to hear that such things still happen and you don't really know why. So this is something that is not too cool. Especially when you know that you have to travel soon. Right now I'm just sitting in bed with my laptop and what I got today is this. Which are my favourite crisps ever. And I only get them in Poland because they're the Polish lace and I could never get them in Vienna. So I never have them in Vienna so this is like the taste of Poland for me. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh and I also got them. Um, which are the Haribo Safgorka, which are my favourite ever. I'm so happy, so lucky. <laughs> we went for some chips with brown sauce and then we went to do quick shopping to get some food because <laughs> we didn't really have much left. And what I, what I wanted to say is that I got a message from Canon today saying that my camera is going to be sent back home and that I can track it from today evening so I'll check if it's already available. We're both here. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> and thinking of having some breakfast very quickly and um, I'm not too sure whether I want to go somewhere because the weather is not too nice, it's just cloudy, it's cold. Look what I've just done! I've checked in online. Nice, it looks like the sun is coming out as well. My little sleeper next to her food bowls all night long. Just 
waiting for the bus. Should be here in about seven minutes. I look like this. Um, I thought this hair sells. later than I expected it's currently like four or so and I mean I went to quite many places today because at first I went to town um, I went to Boots, I went to Superdrug, I went to H&M, I went to Miss Selfridge as well and then I was trying to head back home but um, I finally decided to go to Aldi because I missed the German stuff um, so I wanted to see what kind of things they do have over here in the UK. I went to town basically because I needed like a travel beauty bag, whatever you call them, where you put the liquids in, because mine broke, like it burst apart last time, and I only have like a really narrow one, and I'm not too sure if everything will fit inside. So I wanted to get one. Um, so I was pretty sure the boots would have them. But they didn't, Superdrug didn't have them. So I thought that maybe Asda would have um, such things because I saw the travel adapters and stuff like that. So I thought they were really neat travel bags, especially because Asda is such a huge place. So I went to Asda, but they didn't have them either. So I just got like the grocery shopping done. I just came home. It took me ages to get back home and now I'm here, I'm gonna quickly try and call my parents, then I'll start editing, um, yeah. So, um, what I also wanted to say is that my camera is already in England, so with a lot of luck, it will arrive in Scotland before Wednesday, but there's also a chance that it won't. So, yeah, we'll just see, we just have to wait and see. Um, and the last thing for today I wanted to say is that since I'm leaving on Wednesday um, and I'm coming back the Wednesday after since I'll see my family for just a week not even a full week I just don't want to lose the time editing I just want to do the vlog when I'm away um, basically so the next vlog is going to be up in like two weeks or just when I'm back so no vlog next Friday I would like to say thank you for watching and hope you like this vlog even though it wasn't as super exciting as the last one with the solar eclipse and everything but well this was just a special thing <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I really hope you liked it and yes, if you did comment below give it a thumbs up and subscribe whatever I'll be really happy and I also gained like three or four subscribers over the last two weeks I mean it's not much to be honest but for me it is quite a lot because I don't really know who this is <laughs> so thank you guys um you make me feel like this is not pointless what I'm doing so thank you and see you next week